everyone, this is Mass Live reporter Melissa Hansen. I am here in downtown Worcester, right outside the Worcester Public Library. Today I've been checking out some of the new murals and art projects that are going up for this edition of Pow Wow Worcester. And I'm going to give you guys a little look at what's happening here at the library. And I'm going to introduce you to Wordsmith, who has created this mural on the front side of the library. Hello. Right. Here's Wordsmith. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your art. Uh, I am a LA-based street artist, um, and I do word-based art. Uh, I'm a writer. Um, I've been writing all my life, and about five years ago, got the notion to do street art. And when I thought about doing street art, I knew it would be word-based. Um, I also immediately saw an image of a typewriter, which I incorporated into my art. And um, five years later, I'm doing this full-time, and it's just been an incredible ride. Um, I started doing it for me, but the words I quickly saw were resonating with people and they continue to resonate and now I get to do this full time and travel the world, which is pretty incredible. So you're based out of LA. Have you been to Worcester before? Um, I actually have. My brother's yeah. wife is uh, originally from here, so I've been here a couple times. Um, yeah. It's been a while, but I've been here. Yeah. yeah, so have you seen changes in the city now that you're back again? Absolutely, absolutely. The city, since I've been here, has gone through just incredible changes. Uh, the art wasn't here when I was first here, and it's just incredible to see the influx of all the great um, installations and murals uh, over the last three years with Pow Wow. Yeah. So we're here at the Public Library, which is where your mural is. As a writer, it must be kind of cool to be putting typography right up on the library. It's very cool. When I was approached uh, by Pow Wow um, and they were looking for a wall, when I found out it was the Public Library, I was ecstatic. It just made sense. Um, and I knew what I was going to do, um, which is this mural. It's playing with typography. It's playing with my font that's present in all my art. Uh, but the second reason that I got excited is I found out that 1.5 miles away is where the typewriter was invented. Um, so that's just total karma. I mean, it's, it's for those two reasons, the public library and the invention of the typewriter, I think it's great that this piece is here. Having said all that, um, every piece I do needs to resonate with me and something going on in my life. Uh, so if you ask me why I chose to do this piece, I would tell you a story that as an artist I want to evolve and as I evolve I want to play with typography and the whole point of this mural is that this is my palette. Um, as a writer this is what I'm faced with every day and it's merely 26 deep but the possibilities are endless. Um, and that's what this mural is about. And it's gonna be a six foot word, I call a word typewriter plus a page down in the bottom right hand corner that's gonna talk about that, the fact that this is my palette. And so how long has it taken you to put this together? You're almost done with the alphabet. Yes, um, I well I work with stencils uh, mainly and that allows me to move very quickly. A lot of the work uh, for a uh, piece is done prior to arriving at a wall. Um, however, this is very large, um, and I started it on Monday, but for a day and a half it was actually putting the, the white page or the white you know, coat on it, and this wall was a challenge. It was very thirsty, as we say. It was just drinking paint, so, so it took me about a day and a half to paint the base coat, and then here we are Thursday afternoon, and I'm almost done with uh, the alphabet. When you're making your murals, you know, in various places across the country, how long does it take for you to, you know, figure out what exactly you're going to put on there with the typewriter? Um, it's always different. It's always different. Um, a lot of times when I'm traveling, I, I think about things in advance, like what I want to say, whether I just have new expressions or whether I want to say something specific to the place that I am going to be in. Um, so that, that could happen you know, over a day, or it could happen just months prior to, to traveling or taking a trip. Sometimes when I'm in a city, um, I'll experience things or see things in the, in the culture or just the people or, or, or whatnot, and it'll, it'll, it'll um, inspire me to write um, some things and prepare that and actually put up the art. So sometimes I come prepared, sometimes I get inspired while I'm traveling. And do you think you'll finish this today, or do you have some work to do tomorrow? Um, I'll have a little bit of work to do tomorrow. Um, yeah, and it's, it'll be, I think, like, it, it depends. They're trying to get me paint, but that's a whole other story. I think uh, the whole powwow has uh, pretty much made spray paint ex extinct in this town um, at the moment. So they're trying to get me some more paint. If that happens, I think 95% of it will be done. Uh, definitely tomorrow, I think I'll be completed with, uh, complete with the, uh, completed with the, with the wall. 
um, but also this bench that you see over here is going to be a typewriter. I'm going to, they're putting seat, we're putting seats on it, and then I'm going to actually turn it into a QWERTY typewriter with all the, with all the letters on the keys. Oh, that's neat. So people will be able to sit out here, Absolutely. look up the art, look across the street at the Commons. Absolutely. Interact with it, and it'll sit, it'll, right now it's going to sit right here in the center of the piece, but then eventually move out where those two benches are uh, behind us. But, but yeah, there's a big plan for, for, for a lot of things here. So it's not only cool to have the alphabet right on the public library, but there are also some renovations planned for the library, so yes. soon this will be close to the front entrance, so all the thousands of people who go into the library will be able to see your art every day. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. Uh, the wall itself, when I when I was presented it, I was just ecstatic, and then when they told me that the entrance was going to be moved right over here, that's that's just bonus for me, so it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty so exciting. in the week or so that Pow Wow has been going on, have you gone around to check out any of the other murals? Uh, yes, um, I want to do a full tour, you know what I mean? Um, I'd love to spend more time seeing people, you know, as they work in progress, but I'm definitely going to go out of my way to see all the finished murals. Um, but we're also uh, a pretty tight group, like we're at the same uh, hotel and we've been hanging out at uh, special events and functions that uh, Pow has been putting together and we eat and drink and we be merry after we work uh, together. So that's uh, that's been pretty fun. It's a really great, great group this year, every year, but this, but I'm part of it this year, so the, the, the group is pretty great. Yeah, of the work that's up now or some of the work that's going up, do you have any favorites? Um, yeah, I think what Insane 51 is doing is just that. It's insane. Um, it's an amazing mural. Ben, ben Johnston has a great one, um, and his work just kind of blows me away. Um, I'm excited to see Sticky Peaches and um, I don't know. There's, there's so many that uh, that I could mention. You know what I mean? It's I think every artist. It's just so great that we all, you know, do different things, and it's such a diverse group as far as the work is concerned. It's it's pretty exciting to 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 experience it all. Where can people find you on social media? Um, I'm Wordsmith, and it's no vowels, so it's W R D S M T H. Uh, so if you uh, type that into Google or if you type that into Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, I'll pop up. Uh, you'll see me. My bread and butter is Instagram. That's where you know my, my biggest following is, and that's uh, just such a great medium for photography and for art that uh, I almost post daily. Uh, I haven't been since I've been here, but that's because I've been a little bit busy with this Yeah, with maybe this a guy. little bit. Yeah. How tall is this? Uh, it is, the, the wall itself is 46, and my piece is 43. Gotcha. Great, so you'll be hanging out here working on it today and tomorrow if people want to come by and say hello? Absolutely. I might even be here a little bit on Saturday working on the bench. Great. All right. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Melissa Hansen with Mass Live. We're outside the public library, and we just spoke to Wordsmith, who is doing one of the 20 new murals that are going in around the city for this year's edition of Pow Wow. There are also art installations going on this year. Some of those include... Balloonski, who has been putting balloon art up around the city. There's a rainbow glass structure being built on the common right now. And there are some wire cats from the artist Stray one that are going up as well. Stay tuned on MassLive.com. We're going to have photos and videos of all the powwow art and the festival goes through this Sunday. Thank you so much for tuning in.